Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! those things are? You know I don't have lungs. Besides, YN isn't even... <laughs> here. Human! Uh, oh. You alerted the two monsters with your presence. So, human, what brought you here? The kiddo's been listening. The atmosphere is tense between these two skeletons. How do you know if he's really awake? It's something that I ask myself every day. Demonstrate the true color of your soul, human. It's red, I'm sure. Enough! I'm awake! I can hear you! Suspiciously. <laughs> Come on, my child. We're just kidding. Tomorrow early, I'll have to leave. Are you sure you don't want me to stay and take care of you? I'll be fine with Sans and Papyrus. Gosh. Yeah, chill, Tori. I'll make an effort and teach you the art of taking naps. What help sleep is the sport? Sport! That's the last thing an exhausted person wants to do, bro. What do you know of sports? I mean, deport the idea because short my comfort because I don't support the idea. Do not begin with your terrible rhymes! <laughs> Ignore them, my love. Tomorrow we speak well. Sleep well, Frisk. Illuminate your morning with my presence. Good night, kid. Good night, Frisk. You lie down with determination. Sudden. This reminds me of the days I waited for Paps to fall asleep to drink a bottle of ketchup in front of him without him knowing. It's a shame you only have wine. Don't you dare have this behavior when you take care of Frisk. Let me enjoy tonight before I become a responsible adult. You were the one who opened the- Shut up or I will end you. I mean, I understand. You're nervous. You're going to another country to represent your school and your position as a teacher of children and monsters. Not only did you manage to fulfill your dream of becoming a teacher, but you'll also be a pillar of great change regarding how monsters are seen. You're amazing, Tori. Today you can sleep peacefully knowing that you're part of something incredible. Go for it. 
You can rest easy. I'll be here with Frisk, feeling proud of you and your achievements. Oh, Sans, thank you so much. You did a great job taking care of your little brother. I know that if I leave, Frisk will be in good hands. Welcome, little human. This place is the absolute emptiness, where nobody can see you, hear you, and where eventually you will be forgotten. What the? But you can at least have the benefit of people knowing that once someone named Frisk shared their life with them. I've been watching you. Don't get me wrong, I see everything. But I focused my attention on humans. I studied them. I observed them. I analyzed them. The world of particularly cruel creatures like you can be. Very beautiful. Enviable. How is it that they do it? Having humanity despite being threats. You are murderers. But despite that, they do not kill each other. Most of the time. I think that is why they are violent with monsters. Because they are weak, sensitive, and have more fragile souls. When they die, they just leave dust behind, and their existence remains in the memories of those who loved them in life. Instead, when humans die, they have souls with the ability to influence others. Even once they are dead, they still have relevance in the order of things that existed. Of what was once, and ever will be. Souls with a purpose. And they become an important tool to save monsters from an eternal confinement that humans imposed on them. Souls that can return to life, able to return to past events, and repeat the same thing over and over again, obtaining the end they want through the decisions they make, driven by their determination. The determination that made me put all my attention on you. I've been watching you, in each route that you have taken, in all decisions that you have taken. I know everything. I saw everything, even now. You stayed with a pacifist end because of what I noticed. However, you did the genocide route many, many times before. That makes me doubt when it will be the next time you feel like resetting this world again. You killed all the people you love. What prevents you from doing it again? That will not happen again! They were mistakes! I regret it! I had the stupid curiosity, but I would never do it again! Who are you anyway?! Curiosity. That's exactly what I want to talk about with you. You must think it's okay to experiment with the lives of innocent people, as if you were some kind of uh, scientist. But the real scientist here is me. W.D. 
For the lift. <laughs> Don't mention it. You ready to go? Uh, just a sec. I, I got you something. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. It's just a few days late and a bit dirty, but Daddy, will you be my Valentine? Valen, what's it now? Valentine? As on Valentine's Day. I guess monsters don't have a holiday like that. It's a holiday on the surface to celebrate and give gifts to people we love. <laughs> so, <laughs> will you be my Valentine, Sans? Uh, What's with that look? Say something. You gonna be kidding me. Don't. That's so cheesy. Sans. What's the matter, sweetheart? Please stop. You're looking a little blue. Sans, no. Sans, yes. <laughs> oh, never mind. Forget I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that, Frisky. I'm sorry. You know I could be such a numbskull. Well, you just answer the question. Sure thing. Dad? Hmm? Uh, uh, are, are you alright? You got really quiet. I'll survive. Just, uh, just remembered something. Thanks for this, Precious. But I think it's time we got back. Perhaps my beast might stop worrying. Uh, if you say so. Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy. Happy Valentine's Day, kiddo. Oh, wow! You fixed that old camera? It just took a little focus to develop a solution. Ugh, Dad. What? I thought that part was positively hilarious. There were no negatives. <laughs> Dad, come on. Let's try it out. Uh oh? You want to take a picture? Yes. I think I can handle that. It'll be a snap. <laughs> 